Welcome to Data Doctor's Video, Suggestion 510, Unique Name Without Gender. Suggestion 510 is caused when a profile has no gender indicated for a unique name. Either the first name is misspelled, the manager missed setting the correct gender, or the gender isn't known. The gender suggested is based on statistics of the first name. If the name is unique in the database, no guess can be made. For example, here is the suggestion report for Anna Leiden Hagen, showing 510, Unique Name Without Gender. In the Name column, click on Anna Leiden. The next screen gives a name analysis for every Anna Leiden on Wikitree. There is only one, with no gender specified. Below that, Annas are usually female, and below that, Leidens are usually male. Here is the public view of Anna Leiden's profile. It has a unisex silhouette in the top left, and the data section refers to the child not the son or daughter, of Thomas Hagen and Mary Leiden. There are no sources. We need to find a source that indicates gender. On the bottom right of the profile, click on the Root Search link. Root Search offers several sites to choose from. Let's start with Family Search. Family Search shows a birth record for Anna Leiden and lists parents Thomas and Mary. The birth date agrees with the profile. On the far right, click on the icon. The birth record tells that Anna Leiden was a female. Leave this page open. Return to her profile and click on Edit. In the Biography section, place the cursor after the birth information and click the Citation button above. Return to the Family Search birth record. On the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy the citation that appears. Return to her profile and paste the citation between the ref tags. Delete the unsourced template. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Move to the Gender field and click on the green tab. At the box that opens, click on Female. Below the Gender field, explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report, and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, correct it. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.